Hey, what's going on everybody? Mr. 1185 here with a ROM review. This is the Clean ROM 5.0. Uh, this by far is my favorite ROM. Um, so we'll get into it real quick. Uh, this is um, a TouchWiz variant, so you are looking at uh, TouchWiz for Jelly Bean. So you can hear the the stock lock screen. Uh, you can see I've already changed a few things on the bottom and we'll get into that real quick. So swipe to open that up. Uh, as you can see, I'm running a hotspot up here, which I do have a Verizon variant of this phone. This has the 15 toggles, so you can see mobile hotspots highlighted. I'll go ahead and, and take that off um, just for speed purposes. Um, but you do have a whole sort of things up here. Lock screen, time, you could just change the auto sync, restart right from here. Uh, you can see this does have an extended restart menu, so you can reboot into recovery or reboot into fast boot or just your basic reboot and we'll go into that in a minute um, but some really cool things about this ROM I have it down to one home screen so it won't change around um, some really cool things about this ROM um, if you've seen my video in the past with the 3.5 the clean ROM 3.5 I believe it was um, this is the 5.0 this is the newest one um, a couple things that comes with this this has the aroma installer right into the zip so you'll see what that is as we go through and install this but it gives you the most options one thing I really love about it, and I wasn't even aware in the beginning, is it gives you Flash Player, which is awesome. So anything after Ice Cream Sandwich, Android, and Adobe are not released in Flash unless you go in there and install it manually. So this is actually in the installer, and then it also gives you an opportunity to pick some things like Dropbox, um, which Verizon bloat apps you want, what um, TouchWiz apps you want. So we'll get into all that in just a second. Uh, you can see that I use Backup Pro, my Backup Pro. If you guys don't have a backup application, this is the, my my favorite. A lot of people use Titanium Backup. I like this one because all I really do is keep my contacts and my text message, my text messages. I keep all that backed up on my SD card. So, um, so let's get into it. You see the unlimited scrolling with the separate apps and widgets. Um, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I love the TouchWiz uh, widgets, um, so they're available in this. Also, in the beginning, it asks you when you install it if you want Dropbox, so uh, I have Dropbox already installed. Uh, GApps is also included in this zip, so um, you don't have to download that separate. Let's go ahead and get into About Phone. TCI am running Android version. 4.1.1 got a little easter egg there boom this is always fun to do um, so build number clean rob 5.0 as you can see I'm running on the 535 which is the Verizon variant um, baseband version is the VRLHE kernel version um, I believe this is just a stock kernel so there's no under, over or under clocking in it um, this does come with motion, so you can do the uh, direct call when you're on a contact. You can put it up to your head, and it'll call or put it up to your ear. Uh, smart alert, all these awesome motion um, settings that came with the Galaxy S3. So if you really love the Galaxy S3 settings that came with it, you're able to get that with these. Um, this does have cloud services. Um, I do not see the blocking mode. Um, I could be wrong. I haven't played with it that much to check into that, but I don't see blocking mode, um, which was available on the ice cream sandwich variant. So um, that might be taken out. You got power saving mode, uh, home screen mode, and then if you go here to lock screen, you can change how you uh, unlock the phone. And you also can go to lock screen options, change the shortcuts. And as you can see, I already put Gmail here instead of the stock email app. So you can go here, pick what app you want. You can pick anything. Um, we'll just put S memo here so I can show you that it worked. And then we will go home, lock the screen, unlock. And you'll see S memo there. So touch it and drag it up. And you'll go right to S memo. So as you can see, all the motions, all the things that come with the stock touch was experience is there. All right. Um, other than that, this is pretty much your stock TouchWiz experience. 
Um, you are going to have right here when you go to your recent apps, you will have Task Manager, Remove All, and then Google. And then this is Google Now. Hello, Google. If you haven't played with Google Now, it's pretty awesome. Do a barrel roll. Pretty sweet. Um, I think that's just something they added in to Google Now, but it's very accurate. What was the score of the Miami Dolphins game? The Dolphins beat the Seahawks 24 to 21. I'm a Dolphins fan, so that's good stuff. Um, and you can also see that it has all the cards. Um, and this is the updated Google search, so you're going to see um, cards pop up for local attractions, local things going on. Um, and then also all the scores and stuff that I like to look at. And you can see here in Charlotte, it's 51 degrees. Uh, over Thanksgiving, I was in Iowa, and it was not that warm, so it was actually rather cold. So awesome that Google Now comes with Jelly Bean. I love that. Let's see. Um, any other cool things I'd like to point out? Okay, so I just launched the XDA Developer web um, app. I just want to show you something pretty awesome. Uh, we'll just go into anything here, just something with a link. And we'll touch this here, and it gives you the option to do pop-up browser. And if you haven't seen this, this is something that's on the Note 2. Let's click just once, and you can see a pop-up browser. It pops up down here on top of our app, and we can zoom in and zoom out inside the browser. Um, you can move it around. And then you can also push this, and it'll take up your full screen. So it'll launch you right back into the browser. That is an awesome feature. And when you're loading this um, ROM in, it'll ask you if you want to add it. So I will show you that in just a minute. So really cool. Um, um, very fast ROM. It does ask you if you want to add swipe. So this does not have the 4.2 swipe, but it does have... It does have the basic swipe that comes with TouchWiz, so you can say, hello, how are you doing? And then also, it has the voice of text. Hello, how are you doing? Period. Exclamation point. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, so I didn't know it. Um, you still get the video player, so you can do the pop-up video player. I don't know what I have in here. Um, we'll take Transformers. That's something I have on my SD card. Show that it's prompting me to use S-Beam, so I can transfer that. So Transformers is running. Pop-up video. Boom. And being this is Jelly Bean, oh, sorry. Being this is Jelly Bean, we can, I believe you have to go inside an app for this to work. There you go. So if you're inside an app, you can adjust the size of the video. Now, it doesn't work in portrait mode, only in landscape mode. But another awesome feature that came with the S3 that I love that did not disappear with this. And then you can just touch the pause it and exit out. You don't have to go back to the video. So uh, let's get into the installation. Um, if you are running a custom recovery, uh, what you'll want to do if you're already on a ROM is reboot and recovery. If you are stock and just rooted, um, you will need to have your um, bootloader unlocked. And you'll power the phone off and then you'll hold the power button volume down and the home button. With this ROM we do have the custom um, reboot menu so we'll go ahead and do that. Actually before I do that let me go ahead and back everything up. So this will show you a quick demo of my backup pro. We'll back up. Oh. Back up data local and then I want to do my contacts call log SMS MMS OK today's date okay that'll back up super fast 
All right, you can see it has backed everything up successfully. So we'll push OK. Um, go home with this. Now, just a couple things I want to go over before I uh, show you how to install this. You are getting a pretty cool feature that a lot of ROMs have not received yet. And that's the fact that Wi-Fi is off and there's no notification saying your Wi-Fi is off. So a uh, big um, thanks to Scott's, Scott's ROMs for taking care of that. Um, you do have the extended reboot menu, which we've already talked about. Um, the battery has been optimized, so if you look at the battery, I actually let it die last night just to get a good representation of the battery. I think we passed it. Battery. Okay, so you can see um, 12 hours and 50 minutes on battery, and you can see where it dropped all the way down into the red. So um, I think that's pretty good. It wasn't fully charged. It took 12 hours for it to die, so that's that's pretty good battery life. Moderate use. You can see a lot of... Android operating system, so I, I use the phone pretty heavily. So to get 12 hours on a probably 75% charge battery, the battery leak has definitely gotten fixed. So let's go ahead and reboot like we were going to do before. Let's restart. Um, going to restart into recovery. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I'm running Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, I do like Twerp. Um, let me get the phone a little closer. I do like Clockwork Mod. Sorry for the fuzziness. Um, we'll be getting a new camera next week, so pretty excited about that. But uh, let's go ahead, and you will need to wipe Data Factory. Excuse me. Wipe Data Factory reset. Delete all user information. So with all that done, you want to clean your catch. Once the cache is clean you will go to install zip from SD card choose zip I downloaded mine right here so you see clean ROM 5.0 and you will hit select now pay close attention to the boot animation or to the installation this is the aroma installer at its best so we'll click that all right as you can see it asks you if you want to continue Installing the clean ROM, we'll hit next. It's going to ask which layout and which launcher you want. Uh, I go with the TouchWiz stock. You can choose TouchWiz 5x6, Apex, Nova, or Trebuchet. Like I said, I'm going to go with the stock because I want all the widgets to work. File managers, I like ES. You can do the stock one that comes with it, or you can do no file manager. These are your G apps you can choose. Um, I like Play Music, Google Voice. I pretty much like all of them. So I like all the G apps that comes zipped up in this. You're getting the new Play Store, which is pretty awesome. Samsung apps. I'm going to click Pop-Up Browser, Cloud, S-Memo, and that's it. So you can put keys. You can get all share. So all those are available that come from Samsung. Go to Next. And this is going to be miscellaneous. So I want to, I want Adobe Flash, Swipe. Polaris Office, Dropbox, and then there's some other ones you can click on to add that come baked in. Next, thank you for installing CleanRob. Now it's going to go ahead and install, and I'll be right. All right, now once it's finished, you'll see this screen. It'll tell you what it installed, um, all the options. Hit Next. CleanRob has been ins ins installed successfully. Press Finish. It's going to take you back. It's going to let you know that a Roma installer finished. And basically, you'll go back, reboot system now. Now, this actually did boot up pretty fast the first time. Uh, you're going to get your basic Samsung Galaxy S3. You're not going to have the Verizon LTE. You will get the Jelly Bean startup boot animation. Okay, so the boot up took about a minute. That's it on this ROM. Thank you guys so much for checking out.